Tell, hey, hey, so you know how we operate. Now all you gotta do is talk to us. Get your hand off your mother gun. And then this man said he got his hands on his gun. No. Hey man, you ain't supposed to go in now, man. Hold up, man. Hey, 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 come up out of my house, bro. Hey everybody, it's James Freeman, and today's video is coming to us out of Senatobia, Mississippi where the chief of police barged into somebody's home without a warrant, without exigent circumstances, and attacked an innocent man. I'm going to read this article published by Red State yesterday because it gives information about what happened before the video so that there's context for what's actually going on in the video. In the quiet town of Senatobia, Mississippi, footage showing a harrowing encounter between police officers and a member of the community raises concerns about abuse of power within the local police department and other areas of law enforcement. The article says that Mark Lesseur, a barber and longtime resident of Senatobia, was accosted by police officers after his girlfriend's 16-year-old son was approached by officers. Lesseur told Red State that the youngster was walking home from school in mid-December 2023 when he was approached by officers who were patrolling the area investigating reports of an individual who had, quote, shot a person two or three streets over with a pellet gun, according to the barber. He's quoted as saying, My girl's son was walking from school and the police was in the community, I guess searching for the guy who shot the man with the pellet gun. He says they knew who they were looking for because the person who called them told them who did it. See, this is a tight-knit community, so everybody knows each other. So the person who called the police told them who did it. So they knew exactly who they were looking for. They were looking for an opportunity to come into my house. Lesur explained how he and other members of the community had previous encounters with this police department and noted that, quote, when they come here, they come super aggressive. Lesur indicated that he and other residents have had discussions with law enforcement, telling them they, quote, don't have to come with all your guns and all that aggression, and said that police approach people in the community in this way for misdemeanor crimes and warrants for missing court dates. The barber noted that the police, quote, act like the community is a high crime area when it's nothing but elders in this community. The numbers support Lesur's claim also, Senatobia's violent crime rate is far lower than the national average in most other American cities. Quote, Everyone knows each other. You can leave your car door unlocked. You can leave your house unlocked. This is what community this is. So as the 16-year-old was walking home, the officers told him to, quote, come here. Rather than obeying the officers and coming to them, the boy went into the home to get an adult to speak with the police officers. Upon learning of the presence of police, Lesur went outside to speak with the officers, and he said, When I opened the door, the police were surrounding my house with their guns out with lethal intention. And when I saw it, I instantly told them, Put your guns down, because you got your guns out with your hands in a ready position, ready to shoot. After the situation was de-escalated, one of the officers told Lesur they wished to speak with the boy. At that point, Lesur brought the young man outside. The situation seemed to have mostly calmed down at this point until the arrival of police chief Richard Chandler. The footage shows Lesur speaking with officers as the minor comes out of the house. Chandler is then seen walking into Lesur's home without permission or a warrant. Lesur can be heard shouting, you're not even supposed to go in there and quote, come up out of my house. At this point, Chief Richard Chandler can be seen putting his hands around Lesur's throat and trying to take him to the ground. I had to put my hands on his shoulders, Lesur said, to relieve the pressure of him choking me. The footage shows one of the officers tasing Lesur multiple times before accidentally <laughs> tasing Chief Richard Chandler, who had Lesur in what appears to be a chokehold. Lesur said, quote, he had my neck. He was still there applying pressure. I had my hands up. I was asking him, get off of me, get off of me. He wouldn't get off of me. And man, he was psychotic that day. He was a maniac that day. And that's how it happened, Lesur said. Shit going on. Why get your goddamn hand off your gun. Hey, hey, hey so you, you know how we operate. Okay, now all you got to do is talk to us. Get your hand off your motherfucking gun. And then this man said he got his hands on his gun. No, I don't like shoot this. Shit. Calm down, dog. Everybody that comes over here. Ain't nobody. Oh, man, you, you cool. What the hell you doing that for? What's going on? This hey, is my house, dog. Why you doing it for?
for, hey, man. Put you you, man, you put won the cool ones, man. Put y'all guns down, man. Two seconds. Two seconds. Tell me what's going on. Where's Green Jacket? I know we ran in there. Don't play games. Man, man, hey. What is, what is a green jacket? What in the hell? Green jacket, white pants. Tell them to come out here. We'll put them up. Stop hey, bring your ass out here. What, what the hell going on? Come here. Come here. We can see what's going on. Come, come see what's going on. See what they want with you. We're going to see what's going on. Hey, shit. We're doing that crazy shit. Now, see what you want. Man. Y'all put these guns down, man. He's a child. Goddamn child. No, wait, wait. No, no, no. What's going on? Hold on. Hey, he's a child. What's going on, bro? He's a child. I'm trying to help you out. Put your gun down. Calm the fuck down. Put your gun down. That's a child. That's a man. He's a goddamn child. Come out of the house. Come out of the house. Now, what can you do? Hey, man, you ain't supposed to go in now, man. Hold up, man. Hey, hey, hey. Come out of my house, bro. Hey man! Hey man! Back up! Hey! 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 Get him! Get him! Get him! Hey man! What y'all got going on, man? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? That's crazy, man! That's crazy, man! That's messed up. That's messed up, man. That's messed up, man. That's messed up, man. And it still gets even worse. After the incident, the officers arrested the boy for disorderly conduct, and he spent four days in a juvenile detention center, despite not having engaged in any rowdy behavior during the altercation, the article says. Now, rowdy behavior is not disorderly conduct, but we'll save that for another day. The LeSueur told Red State that the judge in the case apologized to the boy's mother and released him without any paperwork or further explanation. The, the authorities are charging LeSueur with assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of a stolen firearm. The officers obtained an emergency warrant after the violent co confrontation despite not having indicated what gave them probable cause on the warrant. Lesur had a very small amount of marijuana in the home. He told Red State that the firearm in question was found in the attic and likely belonged to a previous tenant. He described it as an old and non-functional firearm. The article says that this is not the first time that the Senatobia Police Department has made headlines. In December, they came under scrutiny after officers arrested a 10-year-old boy for urinating in public. The child was kept in a cell while officers filled out paperwork and a judge later sentenced him to three months of probation. I don't know how much longer people are going to allow this to happen before they realize that they have a right to self-defense. At this point, city officials are standing behind the illegal actions of their officers. Contact information is listed below. Shit going on. Get your goddamn hand off your gun. Hey, hey, so you know how we operate. Now all you gotta do is talk to us. Get your hand off your motherfucking gun. And then this man said he got his hands on his gun. No, I don't like shoot shit. Calm down, dog. Ain't nobody oh, man, you, you you cool. What the hell are you What's doing that for? What's going? This hey, is my house, dog. Why are you doing that for, hey, man? You, you, man, you one of the cool ones, man. Mark, put your guns down, man. Two seconds. Two seconds. Tell me what's going on. Where's Green Jacket? I know we ran in there. Don't play games. Man, man, man. Hey, what, what is a Green Jacket? What in hell? Green Jacket, white pants. Tell them to come out here. We'll put them up. Stop. Hey, bring your ass out here. What the hell going on? Come here. Come here, we can see what's going come, on. Come see what's going on. Crazy see what they want with you. We're going to see what's going on. Hey, shit. Doing that crazy shit. He's now, see what you want. Man. Y'all put these guns down, man. He's a child. He's a child. He's a child. No, wait, wait. No, no, no. What's that going on? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, he's a child. What's going on, bro? He's a child. What's your gun down? Calm the fuck down. Put your gun down. That's a child. He's a goddamn child. Come out of the house. Now, what can you do? Hey, man, you ain't supposed to go in now, man. Hold up, man. Hey, hey, hey. Come up out of the house, bro. That's messed up, man. That's messed up, man.